It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1809, recorded Thursday, December 10th, 2020. See fire, break glass. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we got tons of LED stuff. I take over one of the main gadgets, plus another crappy corner and your videos, all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same Dylan show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is. He is the best. Better than the rest. Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very good. Oh, oh very good. Very good. Anything new and exciting uh, in your life this week? I think. Well, the, the biggest game that I have been so excited about for years literally years finally came out um and and that was kind of i guess the biggest thing for me um so i finally got to play it let me i'm trying did, to look did you play it on your channel or yeah. in your home in oh, fact okay. i've made a brand new um channel for it so i've made a brand new youtube channel has like 100 subscribers at the moment um and i haven't I, we only got it yesterday, so I played it on my stream, and I still need to make videos about it. But yeah, it's, uh, let me see, the original teaser trailer for this, the teaser trailer came out in 2013, seven years ago. I see. Seven years ago, I was very excited about this game. I'm still very excited about it, but it took a long time for this game to be made and to have finally come out yesterday. Um, so, yeah. Wow. That's, that's... And this is 3D tic-tac-toe, or is it oh, more? yeah. <laughs> the best. The wow, best. Wow, yeah. Well, you know, you can't just throw something like that together. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Take some development time, you know. That exactly. one. Exactly. It's a, it was actually developed by a single person for over seven years. Oh, my god! <laughs> that would make a good story, but no, that's, that's not true. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, that's probably the biggest news is that uh, I was very excited about it all week. Finally came out yesterday, and I have a whole new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash omgchad2077, if anyone cares to, to Why, subscribe. Yeah. Well, for it'll, you'll have a half a million uh, viewers <laughs> by the time we meet again next week. I don't. I I doubt that the Minecraft audience translates. It's it's uh. So who knows? Maybe it's a gamble. It's a gamble. We'll find out. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Anything new? Uh. Well, this is the second time I missed something big on the Hudson River. I missed the uh, the plane just going by. I was walking down the three steps into the marina when Sully landed his plane on the Hudson, and someone came out and said, "Did you see that?" And I said, I, uh, what? I said, why? No. And they said, U.S. Air. And I said, oh, those helicopters fly all over the place. And they said, no, <laughs> this was a U.S. Air regular plane. I said, on the Hudson? Uh, so, I mean, I ran up on it. I ran back and uh, went out to the dock and I could see it d way down river. Uh, but I didn't see it go by. And then there's a, a very local uh, online paper here called the West Side Rag. And a whale came up the Hudson River, but only as far as 72nd Street and then turned around. Um, my marina, uh, our, our marina is at 79th Street. But uh, did you Google whale yeah. on the Hudson? Yeah. Tons of this photos. Is, is, this pretty ast is this pretty astounding? That is crazy. So. This is, uh, I can tell by the pictures, it's, it's near World Trade Center. So, and, oh, and that, the, um, what's that? The one with the fins, you can just see the two fins sticking out. That is Riverside Park. Yes, that. Oh, where your wow. Arrow is. That is Riverside Park. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, it was way up here. That's insane. That is just it's, crazy. And look at look oh, at that. And there it is, do it breaching by the Statue of Liberty. 
I think the Statue of Liberty was kneeling to get this shot. <laughs> That's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That it's is pretty, awesome. Uh, I, like, holy moly. Um, this, is, I assume, just by the, the hype and everyone talking about it, this does not happen often. No, this is the first time that, that I know of. I, from time to time, you will see a seal in the Hudson River, but never uh, a whale that far up. I think he was so. just thinking, gosh, I am lost. I have no, I have no idea where I'm at. What, I, I, what is I this think river? I think he was thinking, <laughs> you know, I came to see this city. I don't see anybody. They told me, hey, Murray, <laughs> go up and see. You'll see crowds of people on all the... The most populated place in, in the world, they said. They'll Nobody's throw, around. They'll throw food in the water. A million people will take your picture. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I don't know what... I don't know if the well, definitely the Hudson River is way cleaner than it used to be. Um, so that can be part of it. I know barnacles are out of control. So you get clean water and then you get a million barnacles. So maybe uh, also the whale saw it. You know, this place is a lot better than the last time I was here. <laughs> I think I'll stick around. That's awesome. That's funny. So do, wait, does clean water equal barnacles? Uh, yeah. Evidently, because oh. they're worse than ever. Huh. If we're worse than ever. Hmm. <laughs> also, uh, I got my email from CES. You know, CES has a press day. And I'm wondering, how are they doing the press day uh, online? So for New York people on the East Coast, you sign up or you, you, you uh, sign in at 530 in the morning and the press event ends at 6 p.m. Yeah, I might just be now. It's doing live, else that day. which means if you're in L.A., you will get up at uh, let's see, six thirty three. I guess you'll get up at three a.m. Yeah, no, uh, I think <laughs> I'll wait for the edited version of that to come out. You know. CES press day in 10 minutes. I think I'm yes, going to wait exactly. for the YouTube exactly. version of that. It is just bizarre. It is bizarre. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, I don't, I, see, I really don't know if I'm going to be tuning in all that much to CES stuff. Obviously, no, I'm only going to tune into like um, Lenovo is going to do all new right. products in an hour. Right, and I'm sure Ank is going to do a one-hour press thing, but uh, uh, I, I actually don't even go to any of those things when I'm there because every one of them is an hour long, and it's way more fun just roaming around finding totally. stuff the and best, talking best to folks and is, looking over, you know, all the precious shoulder who's clumped around a booth, and you're like. What booth does that have? That's good. You know, there's a lot of that sort of um, curation that happens just there. You know, I yes. can see that thing. I see that thing. Also, you can make anything look amazing in a press release. But if it's there and you're playing with it and you can see it scurry across the, the floor, you know. Yes, um, yes. So, yeah, I, so, don't, I don't know how... How much I'm going to be paying attention to the CES stuff? No, yeah. well, probably just Pepcom and Showstoppers are going right. to have virtual uh, versions, and that'll probably be worth tuning in for because at least you'll see a bunch of stuff in a short amount of time. Right. Anyway, right. Okay, should we jump okay. into stuff? Let's do it. Let's. let's <laughs> jump in. Uh, okay, a gadget that I saw online, fell in love with, and I just bought my fifth one. Uh, here it is. Fifth! Don't you hate it when you pick up your Amazon package that you've waited for and you hear this? Ooh! That, that is not a good not a good sign and it's not a good sound, all right? Especially since I was waiting for my LED fireplace. Ooh. And this is it. And it's supposed to have glass here, but that what was in the box all broken was the glass. But it turned out to be a great thing. I used this in my ABC spot, 
and I had I bought another one right away, and I realized the one with the glass, you could see the mic, you could see the, the lights in the, in the uh, ceiling, and I thought, you know what? If the glass didn't break, I would not have thought about breaking the glass or prying the glass out. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one uh, for when I have television. You, so it's you, the matte uh, finish reflection. version. Yes. So it is called the LED Flame Effect Lamp. And it, it is incredibly inexpensive, okay? The first one was 10 bucks, And I only bought one because I thought for 10 bucks this can't be much. Uh, as soon as I showed Dennis, he said, oh, I need one, I need one. So we went back and bought one, and it, it had gone up to 15 bucks. But I, I think it's really worth it, okay? Um, so that's the box that it comes in. And it's very simple, all right? Uh, it says color, flame, uh, the shape square. Uh, if you want this to be square, you're going to need to cut about three inches <laughs> off this side because it's more like uh, t uh, 12 inches by 8 inches. There's just a little on-off switch. It comes with this little cable, okay? So this end of the cable is not standard. I mean, you, you uh, just plug that in there. And then USB-A, so that can go into a computer. You probably have a ton of these guys around, so you can uh, turn it into AC. And maybe even... You know, this might even run from a bat. I'm sure it can't take much power. Uh, let's see. Oh, it is running. Ta -da! The camera lightens it a lot. You it know, looks, in an airplane, you want to have a little fireplace on your person. tray table, assuming uh, anybody's getting on the plane these days. I think it's really neat. And in the back, there's this strip comes out, and you put three uh, AA batteries in it if you want. And there's... Uh, two hooks if you want to, uh, two holes for hooks if you want to hang it on a wall. I think it's great, especially for Christmas, because if you get tiny, tiny little Christmas stockings, <laughs> Santa Claus might come is this and leave stockings you for ants? tiny, tiny little gifts. Bye. <laughs> I love that. That's an, So it doesn't put out any heat. No, no. It, Looks nice. Uh, you know, I actually, over my shoulder, doesn't it look better than it does in the video? I think so. I like that a it, lot. So do I. And and then uh, Dennis said, "Oh, my my sister w was it would love that she has a tiny apartment." I said, "I'll send her one." That's my sister-in-law. So I bought one for her. And then Dennis said, uh, uh, "I hope it doesn't break." And I said, "You know what? I'll buy you a spare." Right. And then I thought, well, I should buy us each a spare. So that made five of them. But how much wood does it use? Uh, oh. A lot. That's the great thing. You know, they trimmed that tree last week. And so I, we have all that stuff in the backyard. Uh -huh. I'm burning it like crazy. That's great. That's perfect. Yeah. I love it. It says it's portable, so take it anywhere. I'm, where, where, do you, where exactly would you take this? You know, on a bus. You know, on a just, plane. Yeah, on a plane. Right. I, I, sometimes at Walmart, I just get a little down. So yeah, you <laughs> have a little fireplace nearby. That's um, that's it's a cool. I I really like that. I wouldn't have expected I, I like it to it work too. off of uh, double A's. You know, you know, it started with um, the flame lantern we did. Oh, maybe yes. two years ago. Remember it? And yes. and Dennis has it. And it, it stopped running, and I thought, you know, I said, hang on, Dennis, I'll, I'll just find you another one. And I typed in Flame Lantern, and this thing came up, and I thought, wow. Also, here's a little um, Demplex makes these little uh, electric heaters with a fake fire in the front, and his burned out. And... He took his and put it behind in, into this stove and some sticks around it. And and it looks like the uh, thing that actually came with the with the fireplace. So he has one that actually puts heat out because <laughs> it's in his his Demplex heater. Awesome. So he, he's getting a lot of use out of his. That's awesome. I, I think that this yeah. would also if someone is like really into decorating for Halloween or. I mean, most, I guess Christmas sometimes, but 
especially for Halloween, if you needed like a witch's, you know, cauldron, yes. you know, something like that, I could really see this as a inexpensive way to get that decor, which is kind of cool. Yeah, a little fog machine behind it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Love it. Okay, dokie. All right. And now it's my turn. Chad takes over. It is my turn to take over. So I have a pair of headphones to show off. And these are the headphones. So I had a problem. And the problem was that I had. Oop. Uh, uh oh. Um, oh no. Oh uh, uh, no. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my. Oh. Here, we let me. We have to stop the tape. It's I'm going to use the other one to get get it out. What's uh, I can't reach. Okay, there Boy, we go. Boy, I hope these are waterproof. <laughs> and they are. That's the that's the whole gadget. So these little headphones, um, I I've been experimenting with different ways to enjoy my audiobooks in the morning. And I've had Bluetooth speakers. Some folks like Mo have suggested things that kind of go over the shower. And each one of them hasn't been a very elegant solution. So every time that I've tried something, either the Bluetooth speaker is kind of too far away and with the running water, it doesn't really work. Or, and now I have a smaller Bluetooth speaker that I kind of like rest on the edge of the glass and and you know, I didn't really want something to be too obvious for too long. Like, you know, I just wanted the bathroom to look nice. And so I decided to give these a try. So they're Bluetooth headphones. They're completely separate, as you can see, just two little sort of modules. Um, and obviously they are waterproof. Uh, so the idea was that I would use them in the shower uh, in, in the morning. Um, they come with a little charging case. So here's the case. It's a little bit larger than it needs to be, mostly with this um, lid. You know, I'm kind of used to my AirPods in terms of size, and this is just a bit bigger than that. It can still totally fit into your pocket. It comes with a little lanyard strap if you wanted to put it around your wrist. I, I you know, I don't, I threw that away. Um, and then it has a magnetic lid. Uh, the base is what charges the, um, the headphones and then you pull them out and they're rather quick. So I have an iPhone and they're pretty quick to pair to my iPhone uh, and you can use one or you can use the other and they both have microphones built in too. So you can take and uh, uh, reject calls. Now, the one issue that I've had with these is that the way to control them is that there is a touch sensitive section just on the top. In fact, that entire flat portion of the headphone is touch sensitive. So if you're going, if you get a call, you can just take your finger and tap the top and there's no physical button to click. It just senses your finger and, and uh, will do the action. Um, and so in the shower specifically for me, it's not that great because if I get water over the headphone, uh, it will act as a press and then activate whatever oh. whatever thing that uh, it does. The other thing is, is it's not crazy intuitive what each thing does. So if I tap it once, that'll be play pause. If I tap and hold, it will be like, if I hold for a certain amount of time, it'll be Siri or, you know, Google or whatever. Uh, if I tap, hold, if I click and hold, but hold it there for a long time, then it'll do the volume based off of which ear I'm on. So my left ear will go volume down, my right ear will go volume up, and keeping all of that in your head is um, kind of frustrating. Uh, that uh, there, there's no, I wish, that, oh, I really I, wish that there were real physical buttons and that, yeah, and that it was a little bit simpler to uh, to figure all that out. The case does charge with USB-C, which is kind of nice because oh, nice. all, oh, yeah, all my gadgets are kind of transferring over to USB-C. What USB brand is it? So it is Tozo, the brand of Tozo, which... You know what? I <laughs> think I just bought those. <laughs> Funny enough, I've, I've heard of the Tozo brand before. I think I've bought a Tozo phone case before. So yeah. they're one of those more... They're, they're still kind of a generic brand, but they're a little bit larger. 
Yeah, you know, like can the can the charge can the they be charged wireless, wirelessly while in the case? Yes, exactly. I don't yeah, think it, the I, case doesn't charge wirelessly, but the headphones charge wirelessly when they're in, like okay. with little itty bitty dimples and magnets. So the other thing, the other thing that's nice about them is the price. Is they are inexpensive for for what they are, in my opinion. Only thirty dollars for these headphones. I um, did buy these. Yeah, and there's even a coupon for six dollars off, so you can get them for twenty three dollars. Whoa! Yeah, exactly. So twenty percent off. So you know, th three, six, yeah, six dollars off. Um, so I really like them. The IP. X8 rating is really nice. So the X is how much it'll keep dust out. And because it won't keep any dust out, it's an X. And then the 8 is how much water it'll keep out. And so 8 is pretty high for this type of headphone, which is, which is great. Um, and they got great reviews. I mean, over 140,000 reviews. Oh my gosh, look at that. I did. You were correct. They will. Yes, that's why I bought them. I did not realize you that. You can lay the whole case down. It'll oh, charge the case it. and the headphones. What? Yes. Well, there you go. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad you pointed that out. I would have skipped right over that, not realizing. Um, so I think that they're just a really incredible deal for the price. Twenty three bucks with that coupon. And yeah. um, uh, Chad, just go back to that for a minute. I've yeah. never seen this on Amazon. A hundred and forty thousand. I know. Ratings. I know. It's insane. <laughs> it's really insane. I mean, these really are. If you're, if you don't want to get, so I use AirPods Pro in in general, right? But those are like over a hundred dollars. You know, three hundred. I forget exactly how much the AirPods are. They're they're hundreds of dollars. And for that price, the packaging is really nice. The case is really nice. Everything is quite, it does not come with a charging brick. So you get the charging cable, but you'll have to supply your own um, from the wall to, to USB-A. I just think that they are a incredible deal for that price. Um, and, and absolutely, they've been fast to pair. They've been, um, they've been great. They, they, it's funny cause they kind of don't work fantastically for my issue, which was to use them in the shower so that, um, I wouldn't have a big Bluetooth speaker hanging out. Um, and also I would imagine for swimmers or someone like that, it wouldn't be a great solution either, uh, which is a little frustrating because they are water resistant pretty they're one of the most water resistant headphones um but uh so there you go so if you are looking for some very low profile water resistant headphones inexpensive i highly recommend uh these and the name of them is tozo t-o-z-o uh t10 tozo t10 bluetooth 5.1 5.0 um wireless earbuds so you can find them. No, it's great. I am it's fun. great. It's funny. I I just they were on a uh, on a shelf and and last night I was laying in bed listening with uh, with these things and I thought didn't I buy a pair of wireless headphones? <laughs> yeah. with, and, and I went in this morning and I said, oh the Tozo. I bought these. I love them because they wireless charge and the wireless charge at the case. Um, but I didn't uh, um, take them out and try them yet. So Perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Perfect. Yeah, and then there's also a whole bunch of magnets in there, so the, the actual earbud, it feels like magic. You know, you just drop the earbud in, and then it's on its charging spot. And then same thing with the little lid. It will just snap close. So. And it also it looks like you fair. see through the lid. So that Yeah, you, you can. can. So you can, so if, if it's charging, you have um, the little lights for charging are, are actually underneath on the bottom. But if it was, you know, only at two lights with the lid closed, you can still kind of see the lights under there yeah, as a charger. I think they're great. I think that's great. Yeah, I love them. So there Perfect. we go. That's my second gadget. Back Excellent. To you, Excellent. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do yet another way to decorate with LEDs. Ooh. 
among businesses having a lot of trouble during COVID are bookstores, okay? So in the city, we have a big bookstore called The Strand, 18 miles of books. I guess you could go there and jog. Uh, anyway, The <laughs> Strand, uh, I, I guess they started planning for it before COVID, but a smaller branch opened in this neighborhood of The Strand. And Dennis and I thought, let's just go there and buy something. I'm not a big book fan. I don't read books. Uh, but they had lots of little tchotchke things around, like silver string lights. And it turns out, look at who made it. Kika Land. Oh. Okay. Um, my boat is like 100 feet from Kika Land's boat. Uh, all right. So we're going to see what the silver string dazzling, dazzling LED lights on a silver wire. Oh, with a well. 20 LED lights with timer. And uh, we bought a few of them. Uh, eight bucks. Okay, there was $7.95. And we'll see what they're like. Okay, fortunately they're not in a clam shell. And... Da -da. Oh. All right, so... Boy, talk about thin. Look at look at this wire. It's just wire. There's no LEDs. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's no LEDs. You know, this almost looks like the kind of wire that you know it has big folds in it. I hope the LEDs can can light. All right. I started to say it looks like the wire that they put the secret. bats on Are we just um, and from we Home Depot for the Halloween this. thing. With uh, 16 foot The one that got so tangled. It was thinking, if this is yes, exactly. <laughs> How in the world do you ever got on a tangled 16 feet? Well, this is tiny wire. Did I have one battery in upside down? Too bad this is one take theater, or I could edit that out. Oh, hey, oh, oh, how okay. pretty. All right, let's. Uh, dum, bum, bum. They are actually, they're quite pretty. Yeah. All right. And we're going to uh, do a little decoration in the hall, so we'll, we'll show you what that is like. Dennis made this display for the hall, and it looks great, but I think it looks better now. We put these little LEDs in there, and there's no power where this is going to go. So we're using the little battery pack. You hardly see the wires, you do see the LEDs. The camera tends to make the whole thing brighter, but I think it's gonna look really great as people come into the building. And the little timer works great. You uh, click it to on, but then when you want the timer in, you just click it to on with timer. And it really does uh, turn off after six, six hours. And how do I know? Because I turned this on at five o'clock and we were recording this at 11, not realizing it. And just as I started, the lights went out. And I looked at my watch, and it was 11. So it does work. It's six hours on, 18 hours off, and then it goes back six hours on and 18 hours off. I think it's uh, a lot of technology for under eight bucks. That's it. They light up my life. And these trees, too. That's awesome. And cheap, too. And cheap, yes. And... uh. These are, I had to buy these because these were cheaper. This is, I think it's 30 LEDs on 16 feet of wire. No timer. I mean, it, the camera's going, uh, blowing out. But the wire, I think, is even thinner. Oh, wow. I know. Yeah. So once you untangle this... <laughs> <laughs> it better be, be in place. Mess. Yeah, yes. So so be beware of this. So Kikoland it's strange. If you buy the ones with colored LEDs, they're cheaper, but the box doesn't say timer. Then if you go to the white ones, they're they're, they're more expensive than in the bookstore. They're nine dollars and four dollars shipping. Um and the copy doesn't mention timer. But in the reviews, people say, oh, and the little time is great because um, it, it just comes on automatically at the time I set and shuts off 
I like I like a product shot where they use two different brand of batteries. <laughs> right. <laughs> Couldn't be bought. You know, yeah, getting exactly. the same batteries. Yeah. Murray, Couldn't give me bothered. another battery. Uh, yeah, what what kind? Oh, anything. Any- as long as it's like the one that lights, used to be whatever. in the, uh, we don't have anymore. Okay, get the one out of the TV remote. That one will <laughs> y- work. For now. <laughs> That's, That's right. It reminds me of a uh, 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 Soupy Sales and I won uh, on 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 tour together once, and Soupy said something so funny that the host said, "Where are you guys staying?" and and Soupy said, "We're staying at this terrible hotel." He said, "It is so bad that the pictures in the lobby that they give away for postcards, the beds aren't made." And I thought, that's a funny idea. A hotel is giving out postcards for you to mail out. With unmade beds in the picture. Uh, yeah. So and anyway, it, it's really neat. I I love how small they are. But then I found, uh, I, I sent it down, like, I found four of these for $15. Oh. Wow. So obviously I bought all four of them. Um, it should probably be the last link I sent. I'm not, I have no idea when I'm going to use these four. <laughs> Like Here Dennis and I, I'll, I'll, next week I'll send you a picture. Dennis and I were, uh, there you are, four, 10 feet long, four pieces, soft white, no timer, but 30, it's a nine, a 9.8 foot string with 30 LEDs and you get four of them. For fifteen dollars, I feel like you could just start a little coffee shop in your backyard and have them there for ambient light. You know, just you could, <laughs> you could, and I and I like the fact that they're warm white. They look yeah. sensational. Yeah, and and then um, if you're into this kind of thing, there are um, they have them with remote control. I guess if you have them in a place where they're hard to reach, but it's nice. It's very nice. Anyway, yeah. Some fun cool. stuff. And I've seen some really good craft projects with these, too. You're putting them inside. Oh, that, 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 Wine that's a Wine bottles or, you know, all, all sorts of stuff. Little, the little porcelain houses to have lights inside of them. I mean, all sorts of really, really cool craft projects. So that's nice. Excellent. Excellent. And with that, with that we're back you to... You don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's. Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. Okay, so we are back with the Crappy Corner. And this month's theme, squeaking in, oh, is... I like it already. Less than $10 gadgets. Uh, and so this one is from Oreo. And what's funny is I didn't realize... Well, I didn't. I don't actually need to grab a whole big old thing of Oreos, but... Uh, we'll talk about it. So, this is an Oreo dunk set. Got it at five <laughs> below. And I kind of assumed that I'd be able to find it in other places, but everywhere else I have looked, it's been rather expensive, which has kind of shocked me. So here's it on the Oreo's website, and it's totally different packaging, totally different oh. price point. This is $5 at five below. This is $20. For something oh very, gosh. very sim- similar, the ultimate dunking set. So inside of this, what do they got? They've got <laughs> a mug, a holder, some tongs, and it looks like maybe a napkin is also inside of there. So that's that's the twenty dollar version. What? So let's unbox this five dollar version. Not quite the same packaging at all, but inside. What are we gonna get? We got the tongs. We got the mug. Look at this. Dunking all the way. We have the the holder. And we got some Oreos. So we so if you want $15 napkins, you can head on over to Oreo.com. Wow. And get them. So I mean that's barely worth five bucks, right? <laughs> Basically. That's how I feel. I don't think it'd be worth 20 at all. So I remember us covering a Oreo dunking. It was almost like a hook that you would you would 
put it into the Oreo uh, filling and then you could dunk your Oreo. So this is a very different situation. You have the, the cup, the holder, and then it <laughs> comes with a two stack little, of Oreos. Two little Oreos. <laughs> there we go. So we can take these, put them into the holder. Perfect. And then, oh, of course, right. I have. I mean, it's, it's a great gag gift for Christmas. Exactly. I would see this as like perfect white elephant gift. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Can hold about six Oreos. The ones that I have are double stuffed. The ones at the bottom are the original that they gave us. <laughs> I'm finding an issue with this. It does, it does not. If we don't have milk in it, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little top heavy. I have some chilled milk here. So let's go ahead and open this. It looks like cream, but it, it does say two percent on the. <laughs> Bottle. This is the smallest amount of milk that you can buy at the store. Okay. And well, I guess you just have to put less Oreos in it, right? Right. Mm. Oh, we'll, we'll know in a minute. Uh, oh, it, it holds it. It holds it. So as long as you got milk in your mug. Milk in your mug. You eat, as long as you eat a cookie and drink the milk at the proper <laughs> exactly. ratio. Exactly. Everything must be in balance. <laughs> Um, okay, so there we go. I got my dunking all the way. Take my tongs. <laughs> grab an oh. Oreo. Dunk it all the way. And I'm not getting my fingers milky or anything. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. That worked. I, th I think that's cute. That was good. That was pretty good. I yeah. think, I think, yeah. Yeah. Five dollars, it seems worth it. 20, I think for five bucks, it's good. Twenty bucks. Yeah. I don't know. You yeah. know what I could use is some napkins. <laughs> well, that's why you have to get the twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They they knew. They said, you know, put a napkin in there and rate it fifteen bucks. <laughs> so look, look, have... looking back, right? Here's what you get. The only thing I can think of is maybe you get more Oreos and some napkins. I mean, maybe, but wow. <laughs> oh, you get six Oreo cookies. There you go. Yeah, six Oreos. For $15 more. Mm hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. So there you go. Five below is the place to go and get this if you, if you really like it. If you're an Oreo fan, um, there you go. And I, this, I don't think that this, uh, little caddy, the, the cookie caddy could really work. Can I get it off? It's quite different. I don't want to send milk flying everywhere, but there, there we you go. go. There you go. There you go. I don't think that this would fit on a normal mug. The little lip that it uses to create fiction right there. Friction. Oh, is a little too tight. I think that it'll only really work on this specific mug. This is a plastic mug, so I don't even think that it could really hold heat. Uh, only milk. Oh, oh, okay. So, okay. I don't think this would work with a ceramic style mug. But there you go, crappy corner, the Oreo dunk set. I realize now this is just, it just says on the box, the Oreo Oreo dunk set. It doesn't say the Oreo cookie ultimate dunking set, which is the one online. That's the ultimate dunking oh. set. This is just the dunking set. So if you can spare $15, there you go. Yeah. Buy $15 that, worth of Oreo. <laughs> is it? This seems like a fun little, I don't know if this would fit in a stocking, but it does seem like it's a cute. I think it's a funny stocking idea. stuffer. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, all right, this week's viewer video is from Jim Manley, who writes, Hey, Dick and Chad, here's a video about a portable microscope 
Ooh. called the fold scope. Huh. The fold uh, scope. Let's take a look. Hey, Dick and Chad. Uh, Jim Manley here. And what I have to, uh, the gadget I have to share today is a microscope. This is called the fold scope. And um, <clears throat> it's a small, handy microscope that, that solves a bunch of problems in, in, in science and education of, because mostly microscopes are uh, big and uh, expensive and, and hard to haul around and, and fragile and things. So um, a, couple of fellow, a couple of fellas named uh, Manu Prakash and Jim Sobolski uh, helped design this and put this together. It's um, a microscope made out of paper but it has the important feature of of the lens which is built in there's uh, uh, some magnets in here that hold the pieces together uh, and there is um, uh, a, a lens in there that will magnify um, your slides when you put them in there 140 oh, times so you got oh, 140 wow. times oh my gosh wow in there um, so, you know, there's just many regions of the world where uh, hauling things around is a real challenge and that's a problem for science and for uh, providing medical care in, in areas of the world. Um, microscopes are uh, a, a great scientific uh, tool, but, you know, to make them available uh, for kids and schools is, is really challenging. So, so that, those are the challenges that these guys um, Went, wanted to deal with when uh, designing and creating this. So it's been out for a number of years now. It is, uh, uh, there's over a million of these have been distributed. Um, <clears throat> it works really well. I mean, you just kind of need a, a light source behind you uh, that you can uh, put your slides in and, um, and see just about uh, anything. So I have some, some cheapy slides here um, just to, uh, uh, show what you uh, can do with it. I mean, you know, you can you can make your own slides. You can go out into nature and and grab some things and and some insects and some leaves and and things and and put uh, little bits of things on on slides yourself and then um, uh, slide them in. You can see where you can kind of slide them in and then uh, the magnets come together to hold things and then line it up. And I'm not going to try to do that. Uh, <clears throat> myself here uh, you can see you can go to the foldscope.com and see the example um, that, that they show of how to do that um, uh, but it's just a, a wonderful uh, little thing to sort of uh, help bring science to uh, a lot of folks in schools and, and and all around the world and make science real and and hands-on and, and portable uh, so just a wonderful little um, microscope that I wanted to share with you and you can visit their website and see what they're about and support them and, and get your old own fold scopes and folks can can uh, purchase classroom sets of these and send them off to schools and, and all sorts of great stuff like that so so hope you enjoyed seeing it bye bye I love it I love it so much that is so cool that is great now I assume you could put 35 millimeter slides in there too right um, um, um I don't know about that Oh, uh, maybe is it too? Is it just focused on a little spot? Yeah, I would assume that it's like itty bitty, yeah, tiny, tiny little. Itty -bitty. How much does it cost? You want to go to uh, it's foldscope.com. Yeah, so I already I, I kind of oh, skipped did there. there. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, I'm just saying. I agree. I went there and I skipped their main page. So this is their store. So I'm trying to navigate through it. Here we go. Uh, is that twenty five dollars for a kit? $25. The deluxe okay. individual kit. <laughs> twenty five bucks. That doesn't seem. I mean, it looks like it has a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe some yeah. scissors and a whole bunch of things. But see, this is. I feel like this is great for children because you you throw a fold scope at them and say, "Go get at it." Go mess with it. Go yeah. break it. Go see what's out and about. Here, ten dollars. This is the uh, assembled single pouch. So ten dollars for one. Oh. Then you can get twenty of them for thirty-five. And then uh, these are assembled. So that's oh, I see. More. Oh, you can buy them uh, pre-made. Right. So I guess they got a few different options. Here's some accessories and things like that. But this is, I think this is great because it really, you don't have to worry too much about the equipment. 
Right. No, is, I, yeah, no batteries, no LEDs, right. no... And so you can yeah. say, just get out there and go grab a leaf, go put your finger underneath it, you know, just go experiment with this, um, which is what I think that you know, in school when you get, you know, microscope day, like, is what they're encouraging you to do, but just to kind of be able to say, go experiment, go find out something on your own. Um, to a child is a really, really cool. I really think that that is a uh, a neat option to do. Uh, absolutely. And just in time for the holidays, if you need uh, a gift idea, uh, foldscope.com. And Jim Manley, that was great. Go ahead. It was just, here's their website uh, as you're talking. Yeah, that was a great. Oh, thanks, right. Jim. Yeah. Um, so Jim Manley, uh, I assume you live in the U S you'll get the current issue of mad magazine. Our plea last week worked. I think we got three, uh, warehouse videos, uh, but we're looking for more. Okay. I think a couple of them are from people who have submitted in the past, but if you submitted in the past, you can certainly do it again. Uh, make a little video. Anything to do with a gadget, like this thing was something we didn't know about. Uh, we're actually pleased to know about it. And it came at a great time because it could be a great uh, holiday gift. Uh, make a video, one, two, up to three minutes. Make, make sure, like uh, Jim did, that we can hear him and see the gadget. Uh, put it up on YouTube, and you can click unlisted. And if it's unlisted, uh, only people with the URL can see it and send us that URL. And if we show it on the show, we're showing 99% of everything we get. Okay. So anything to do with a gadget, mail the URL to giz, uh, to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. Thanks so much. And with that, let's move on to the letter. Now, our letter is from D. Stressner. I don't know if that's a real name or not. D. Stressner <laughs> uh, says, I didn't get to watch show 1806 live, titled Quite Jarring. But when Chad held up that gadget, <laughs> I knew immediately what it was. I've had mine for a good 15 years. Whoa! And it has never failed me yet. Wow! And let's, sh let's show De Stressner's lids off and... Uh, Chad, I forgot. Is, is this battery operated or is it no. AC? Is it? It was yeah. P plug you plug it right in the wall. Plug it in right. <laughs> it is the world's largest <laughs> way to open. Is it? Is it only jars? I can't it's, even remember. It's really. Just, it's like any type of lid. So I was able to get uh, jars. Obviously, I know like pickle you, jars. you did like some big jars, and then I did one with more threads. So like an actual sort of. Uh, Lid. Now, it won't do any type of, like, puncturing or, you know, sometimes you got to take one of those little hook things and push it in there to get it undone. Uh, it won't do that, but it did some pretty long threads, like a mason jar, and then it would also do sort of the short threads, like a pickle jar. So do both. So, so it's been around for, like, 15 years, and you found online, wasn't it, like, a hundred and some odd dollars? <laughs> it was rather expensive, yes, yes. And, and you, mine and you, is uh, actually going to uh, end you, up going to Becky. Uh, Becky was like, I want this thing, and so I was like, hey, I'll send it to you. I was just waiting on a appropriately sized box. I'm getting so much stuff for Christmas that I, it was just a matter of time until I got the correct size box, so I haven't sent it yet, but, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's going to live on. Okay. Um, and you paid how much for yours? I remember. Wasn't it six dollars and ninety nine cents? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's that's what I remember. Is yeah, six ninety nine, so seven bucks. Um, <laughs> you can find some great stuff at uh, Goodwill. I mean, some really good stuff. I remember. Sometimes I like to wander into a really weird. You know, Reddit. Reddit is kind yes, of like a yeah. community yeah. of communities. And so there's all these subreddits. 
One of them was, fl it was called flipping. And so the idea is you go and you find something that's cheap and then you sell it again, you know, for more. Like you flip a house, but it's more like objects, more like things. And a lot of stuff was about Home Depot. Like I just, or not Home Depot, uh, Goodwill. Just went to Goodwill and found this and then I sold it on eBay for a ton of money, you know? And so- Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, and so uh, th one of the things that I remember reading that made me chuckle was, if you pick it up and it's really heavy, I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of felt that way with this thing. I remember picking oh, it up and thinking, yeah. yes, no. this thing is solid. Like, I'm, it's a gadget. It's obviously a gadget. It's going to be great for the Gizwiz. But this thing is solid. And I remembered back to that. If you pick it up and it's heavy, I buy it. <laughs> I don't know that's, what that's it does yet. But this thing is substantial. Funny. And so that's kind of how do I Do you remember that. a brand called Techniques? No, I don't. Okay, Techniques. Techniques was high-end audio equipment, okay? Oh. And it was actually a brand of Panasonic. Oh. And I was talking to the, the guys from Panasonic, and they said, we wanted to build higher-end stuff, but we felt the Panasonic name would not, uh, people wouldn't tr uh, pick Panasonic for a high end item and they built beautiful components, but it was short lived and they discovered after some time, the reason they found out people didn't buy it is for the money. The components were too small. They wanted, if you paid Big. $500 for an amplifier, you didn't want a beautiful, sleek little amplifier. You wanted, an amplifier. That is so funny. Isn't that isn't yeah. that funny? Oh yeah. And, and and it's just that kind of thing. You pick something up and it's heavy. Oh, there's some weight to this. Yeah. Oh yeah. In fact, I wouldn't put. I feel like I don't know which product it was, but I feel like I had a product at one point and I dropped it and it broke open and there were just lead weights in that thing. <laughs> it's like oh, this is where it came with heft. This is. <laughs> I don't remember what that product was, but I feel like that's happened to me. It's like, they just oh, put okay. lead well, in well, there. Well, again, <laughs> um, I was talking to uh, people at Fisher. Remember mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the name Fisher? So Fisher for a while made television sets. And uh, we were at CES and, and I was saying, what does that thing weigh? And he said, oh, you know, 70 pounds. And he said, do you know why it weighs 70 pounds? I said, no. He said, the picture tube is so heavy that we have to put lead weight oh. along the back of the cabinet. Otherwise, a kid or something might lean on the front of it. And it yeah. would fall face down. Yeah, all that glass. So so the bulk of the weight of that TV is lead. That is and I so thought, funny. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> that is fascinating. Maybe that's why you found lead in that thing right. is they need, they had a weight problem <clears throat> of uh, balance. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then also I remember when Samsung started coming out with some lighter phones. They were much lighter material. This is back in 2016. And I remember thinking like, this feels cheaper. But if you're going to carry this thing around in your pocket all day, you'd think you'd want it to be as light as possible. But yet, it does not feel as expensive as this other phone. Um, I do remember thinking about that. Yeah. Some folks in the chat are really reminiscing about Technics and some of the products that they own and that they've had. And apparently this turntable is a classic turntable. That's yeah, that standard, yeah that, that's a standard size turntable. But uh, This is probably after wow. they figured out the... Uh... <laughs> yes, exactly. Take that turntable and add big lens. Uh, exactly. Big that's why this is the classic. The other one didn't go very far. That's funny. Uh, with that, we're coming to the end of our show. Make sure that you head on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? What the heck is it? That's just fun to say. Uh, over there, there's uh, all the gadgets that we cover on the show are there. But then also, 
This game show, what the heck is it? This is a gadget, the whole gadget. So you gotta figure out what that is. You only got a few more weeks left. We got about half a month until it's over and you can't guess anymore. Uh, this is, although, you know, this is kind of obvious uh, to me that uh, this is a nutcracker for um, Ariel and uh, Under the Sea, you know, Little Mermaid nutcracker. They were trying to combine some Broadway shows together. You got Nutcracker, you got Little Mermaid. This is something <laughs> that was used for mm -hmm. that. If you think you know what it is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz, six men magazines for correct answers, 12, sorry, yeah, 12 men magazines for funny answers, clever answers, and interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Wanna say thank you Thank you so, 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 so much to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support every time we create an episode and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. That's really the, the only way that, uh, that uh, this show is supported. So thank you so much to those of you who support the show. It's very generous. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. If you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You can also head over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a big Patreon banner that you can follow to the, the website. Or on that same website, on that same page, is a link to PayPal if you want to give via PayPal as well. However you want to give back, we really appreciate you guys supporting the show, so thank you so much. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time at gizwiz.tv. The website will just update once I finally get around to clicking some <laughs> buttons and, <laughs> and having the chat room say, it's not up there yet. Uh, and then we'll be live. You can join the chat room and chat along with the whole community. If you don't catch it live, don't worry. All of our episodes are there on our website, gizwiz.tv, or you can find us on iTunes. We got RSS feeds on the website, and we also have a YouTube channel. Uh, oh, now we have a Twitch channel as well, if you want to watch that way. Gizwiz Show is the username there. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget. Wait, um, hang on, hang on. Uh, right. Don't forget. We have a schedule change because of uh, Christmas holiday. We are recording on a Tuesday. December 22nd, mm -hmm. and we are also recording our normal show, New Year's Eve is a Thursday, mm -hmm. so we're recording the Gizwiz Thursday at our normal time. We're coming back like at a quarter to 12 East uh, Coast time to celebrate the new year, and then we're coming back again an hour later to welcome in the new year uh, with Chad in the Central Time Zone. Central Time. So... Hopefully you're not traveling during the holidays. And if you want someone to be with on New Year's Eve, we're here. We're here. Okay. The biggest party we're in here. town. The, we're the only our party. Own party. Uh, so, on the block. So uh, join <laughs> us. Exactly. And the schedule changes is up at gizwiz.tv. Right, can see right at there. the top of the website. It'll be there. Uh, with that, see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>